on, everybody? It's your boy here to give you a review for Married to Madison. I, I, I swear, I, would, I have so much shit going on. I sometimes forget the fucking, you know, shit that I'm reviewing. That being said, I got my cup of tea, Long Island kind, so let's go ahead and get to it. So, still in Hawaii, and Simone and Cecil are taking charge of the um, couple's therapy session. Now, the one thing I didn't like is the fact that they were not actively participating in the session. It's just me. Y'all let me know if y'all felt any way about that. Um, Darren is on his way. Uh, and, um, of course, Toya has something to say. And Lisa is defending why he's not there. You know, saying that where he works, they need three uh, months notice in advance. And even with that, there was nobody to take the damn ship. And, you know, Toya was like... Well, between my husband and I forget the other, I think, uh, Heavenly's husband, I think he also does it, whatever. They were able to make it, but see, here's my thing on some real shit. You ain't got to explain yourself to no fucking body. So if it's one of those where you know what, Derek can get off right now, he's on his way. Well, I don't see how da 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 Ain't no need for me to respond, because I said what the fuck I needed to say, so conversation is dead. If you want to continue to talk well, you're talking to deaf ears. You feel what I'm saying? It, it's easy ways to sit here and shut shit down. Like, you, people don't always need a response. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they're not worthy of a damn response. I'm just keeping all the way to fuck 100. So, they're talking to, okay, so the first exercise is about family and friendship, you know, building a sandcastle and mostly communication. It's mostly communication is what they're uh, working on. And I mean, we see that, you know, Toy whole thing is, of course, even with something like that, it just gotta be fabulous. Now, um, is it not Eugene? Um, what's Quad's, um, Dr. G, he, uh, so Dr. Gray, he wanted a magic, but he was more focused on, you know, trying to build a house that represents that's suitable for a family, because he wants a family. Quad even mentioned that there's a communication issue, and you can actually see that there is a communication issue with all of the couples, and I, I would wish that would have been addressed, that they weren't working as a team, but they were more bickering than anything else building these sandcastles. Um, the Harris is one. Kudos to them. So they're going to talk about finances, family, and friendship. So with finances, Toya and Eugene, well, actually it was more or less Toya saying that when everything popped off, Eugene wanted, you know, everything merged together this and third. She wanted separate accounts and whatnot. But her mother told her, no, that's a good idea. You should respect, you know, a man who wants to sit here and share everything with you. But that meant, actually, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to leave that where it said. I'm going to let y'all comment about that. If y'all catch what I'm about to go with that. Aiden and Mariah, her whole thing is, you know, them. Uh, Aiden coming from um, a place where... He came, okay, so where he came from, uh, it was uh, poverty. She came from a poverty, a poverty neighborhood. So them just trying to uh, generate generational um, wealth, more or less, just making sure that their offspring and their and offspring, offspring will have something to go by. She said, "Living," I think she said, "frugally fabulous." So, okay, and then they bring up uh, Lisa Nicole, and that's where we're going to come back to. Okay, so friendship was the next thing that came up. We have Lisa. Lisa pretty much talks about the whole her having a baby and saying this group is a great group to be part of, but <clears throat> y'all can be very judgmental. Now, I I mean, there is a fine line between judgmental and telling the truth, you know what I'm saying? Because some people be like, oh my gosh, you know, and it's the same thing with shade and telling the truth, to come for somebody and tell the truth where it's that fine line of figuring out where that fine line is. Now, Cecil pretty much mentions to her, you keep saying that you want a baby, and she automatically gets defensive. So right here, what we have is if Lisa Nicole doesn't understand anything else, she is defensive as fuck. First thing, a lot of us are. Shit, I could be defensive, you know, but... First thing she go to it, well, my and he was just like, well, wait, I ain't trying to throw shade at you, but it's just like, just understand that you keep saying this is what you want. You know, you got to make sure that your husband is completely on board for the same exact thing, you know, because like I said, that's a lopsided ass, you know, relationship and equation where you want, but they don't. It's just never going to work out. Now, she says that um, 
I forgot how she, the transition she got there, but she mentions heavily how her issue with heavily in regards to this is she tells heavily to not go to this one place, which is the whole infidelity thing, yet she continues to do so, which causes their issues between each other, right? heavy whole thing is, you know, regardless of what was said, her issue is, well, you know what, damn it, you call me alcoholic, you know I'm not an alcoholic, I'm trying to do better by myself, so I want you to apologize and, you know, say that you lie and this, that, and third, and even Lisa does the roundabout thing, but my, I would have put a Dini leaks, I said what I said. Because I think she a fucking out. Damn, I mean, she ain't, damn it, especially in the beginning stages of this damn channel, I had Long Island or some type of drink every motherfucking time I got on camera. So if motherfucker said, you know what, T-Spoon, you alcoholic, yeah, you probably right. Mm-hmm. Probably fucking right, and? That would have been it. I mean, shut the shit down, and, and your point is. I'm just saying, like, some, like, some of us, we... We devote too much fucking time to, you know, caring about what the fuck other people think. I'm just saying, we, we need we need to mix that shit. This 2017, bitch. Um, and then, you know, heavily she says that, you know, the difference between her and Jackie, and Jackie kind of, you know, tense up a little bit. She like, but she said Jackie is very forthcoming. She's very forthcoming and very honest. But you, you're not that honest. You know, it is what the fuck it is. And then to, and, and with the whole drinking thing, you know, of course, um, Lisa didn't, you know, sort like address it the right damn way because she was like, well, what I said was, and then Toya jumps in. Now, I don't feel that Toya should have jumped in, but she jumped in because the comment about hiding, you know, beverage in your um, in your coffee mug and calling it coffee, alcoholism, that thing, that thing in the third, but she said it to Toya. So Toya, that was her way. Well, fuck it, I'm gonna jump in the conversation. So she, therefore, did. And so it was just like, well, you know what? You every, the only, only reason I've ever came for you is because you come for Eugene. She said she does. And Bravo played one clip, and that was at the spa. Now y'all correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not gonna go back and watch the other fucking seasons. I got other shit to do this motherfucking weekend. But all the times I don't, I've. I don't. I'm not saying that Lisa has never went in on you on Eugene to Toya, but I highly doubt that it's balanced that way. That it's always her saying something about Eugene, causing Toya to sit here and say something about Darren. Not. I, I don't believe that, but I could be wrong. And they start to go at it. Simone is like, "Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. We, 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 we gonna cut this here. We gonna bring it back to where the fuck this supposed to be at? Cause y'all getting all the way the fuck off top." And Jackie talks about family, you know, and her situation. And Eugene pretty much said, you know, we are a lot of life. But what you need to do is understand because, like with me, when I'm working and working and working, you know, time is going by and I'm missing the little things, you know, with my with my wife and with my kids. And you don't want to lose sight of that because it's not always about the money. In their situation, Jackie and Curtis situation, it ain't all about the money. Y'all situation is with my book. And it's one of those where I understand it. Because like I said, I am a, I'm a, I'm a work-minded individual. I give a lot of time to my damn job. You feel what I'm saying? So I understand it. But if it's one of those where sometimes b between husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend, or, you know, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever the fuck the damn, you know, match, match up is, it has to be that common understanding where, okay, if we have financial issues, well, damn it, I'm going to have to work now. If you won't be home more, then that means I'm not going to be at work putting this in right here, which means that I'm probably not going to be bringing home the paper. So don't get mad when this paycheck ain't looking, you know, fat like you want it to. You feel what I'm saying? Like, but that needs to be commonly understood. When it comes to the kids, real talk, if kids fucking get upset because you ain't there, you know what real fucking talk it is what the fuck it is, they will get the fuck over it. Because trust me when I say my mom wasn't there many fucking years because she was working, but that's what happens when, you know, my parents divorced that too. My mom has to sit here and play mommy and daddy. Was I feeling some kind of way growing up? Yes, the fuck I was, but guess what? She took, like I said, everything got taken care of, and, you know, I got older, I got smarter, you know, I went, started working, saw, you know, things from a different perspective, and I got the fuck over it. And even if I didn't, you can tell you how many fucks my mother would have gave? Absolutely fucking none. But to wrap this up, um... Nah, 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 nah. Jackie's whole thing is she's her she wasn't able to give 
unconditional love and it seems like she channels it in other places i.e work but she did say in hearing herself say it her breakthrough just came in and a lot of times sometimes we have to hear ourselves say things or sometimes we have to confess certain things you know because even like if you alcoholic sometimes you have to say to you know what i'm an alcoholic you know what i'm saying for your breakthrough to sometimes come and then heavily starts to say how Jackie's an angel, this, that, and third. And she respected, which that threw me the fuck off because she always got shit to say about Jackie. So she in the confessionals crying and shit. And you know, sitting here, you know, like, oh, I'm fucking up my bitch. you like, let me talk about that bitchly socket song crying. I did not near about. I hollered, y'all. I hollered. Oh, okay. See, this shit getting a little too damn sentimental and emotional and shit. Can't do it. All right, so. Damon's gonna have to leave early because he has been taken care of. The only thing I didn't like is heavy comparing their relationship to others and how well, ours is better this and the third. Like, it's too much, but again, it's heavy. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, Mariah tells all the girls, hey, you know, Lisa's upstairs balling, you know, this and the third. She kind of took what happened earlier to heart, to the head, and all of this shit. Uh, Skip has bullshit. Lisa. And I uh, well, Lisa's with the group. She tells all them that uh, Darren missed his uh, connecting flight, so he's not gonna be in until tomorrow. And uh, Lisa, oh, no, Toya says that she wants to talk to Lisa, wants someone to be the mediator, and she says that she doesn't believe that Darren is gay, but she merely said it out of anger. And I'm looking at her just like, he was a lie, he was a lie, he's a lie. You know, you fucking meant it, but hey. But if, if you got a lot of sitting here trying to make the shit, make her feel better and you know kind of smooth things over, then it is what the fuck it is. What else? Quiet asks all the girls come over to the side. Mariah even pulled that whole, what, even me too? Or are y'all going to talk about me? And it was one of those where I don't know if she'd been drinking too much or whatever. Her paranoia set in and she was kind of making it about her. But Quiet says to the girls that, you know, y'all know y'all acted a bum fool and, uh, Jackie's uh, peak book photo shoot. So seeing as a how, you know, that meant a lot to her and she ultimately wants a picture of all the women. Can I get all of y'all to commit to come together and we just do a group photo to give to Jackie? Mind you, so Jackie and Mariah are not in this group setting. Mariah could have been, she chose not to. And then Quad also says to Lisa, you know, and you know, I know what you said, you know, I just want you to be forthcoming because if you're not being honest with us, we don't know how to sit here and be there for you. She was like, well, no, Darren, Miss why. She was like, whatever it is. But, you know, I just want more for you, this, that, and the third. So, of course, they don't believe that, you know, Darren missed his damn flight. They think that there's more going on. Alright, so, to wrap everything up, it, um, the episode pretty much ends with Mariah, Quad, Jackie, and Simone uh, going down to like a uh, water bed with the uh, lays that they have. The lays are the little garlands or the wreaths they uh, have around the neck. Uh, and pretty much this was an exercise just for those four women because they all share something uh, in common, which I actually happen to share something in common with all of them too, and that's uh, losing the loss of their uh, father. Which the whole entire time I'm just sitting here just like, see? <laughs> Cause it's weird how so much reality television I've been watching, there's been certain things that have been said that it's just like, and this is one of those where I know that this is never going to go away and there's going to be so many reminders. Uh, you know, my father passing away, like I said, like I said, May is, is uh, approaching and it'll be a year. But, you know, they the whole thing is you take the uh, delay. You speak to it, whatever you want to say to, you know, your deceased relative. You say it to them, and then you uh, lay it in the uh, flowing water and allow it to uh, drift off to kind of help with the closure. And, you know, they all did that, and it pretty much ends there. So that's the episode. Uh, if I missed anything, we can always talk about it down there. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys Sunday for the Households of Atlanta. Peace.